Okay, today we are looking at the LG Optimus Fuel. This is a relatively new phone for Straight Talk. It retails for $59.99. This phone is of the CDMA variety, which means uh, Straight Talk will activate this one with either Verizon or Sprint. As of right now, I think this is the least expensive phone on the Straight Talk website. Now, despite the low price, it's got some nice features to it. Um, it comes with a 1.2 gig processor. It's got a 3 megapixel camera. And it does not have an LED flash, so keep that in mind. And the screen is 3.5 inches, measured diagonally, so this phone is very compact. One cool thing on this phone, though, is that it comes with Android 4.4, which is KitKat. Uh, so it's a very fairly it's a fairly new Android version and this is actually the first phone from Straight Talk that I've tested that comes with that now as I said one of the main things on this phone to keep in mind is that it is very compact and as you can see there with the playing card it's not much bigger than 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 your regular size playing card measurements on this one are four and a quarter in height or so by two and a quarter a little bit more than two and a quarter in width and the thickness is about a half which is typical for pretty much all of these uh, entry level to mid kind of mid grade androids out there and now for the weight, uh, this thing weighs in at 4 ounces, so it is fairly lightweight. And as I said, the screen is 3.5 inches measured diagonally. So there it is. So again, do keep in mind that this is a very compact phone. So because of that, there is one thing to mention that's a bit of a drawback on this phone, and that's the uh, resolution. Uh, on the smaller screen devices, everything doesn't look quite as crisp as it does on, on the larger phones. And you probably can't tell on the video, uh, but for example, this picture here, looking at it in person, is a lot more grainy than, than you would see on, on a regular sized, or, or a larger sized phone, I'll say. Um, also, you'll notice that on on videos, so for example, if you play a YouTube video, you will notice if, if you've used another phone, sorry about that, so you'll notice that if you've used uh, another phone that's, you know, a, a larger in size, you'll notice that the, uh, that the resolution just quite isn't as as good as some of the larger phones and again you probably can't tell on this video but but if you have this in person you will see that there's a little bit more graininess there but one cool thing about it is that it, the sound quality on it is quite quite good you got your speaker right there so it sounds excellent for for a low-cost phone Now on the design of this thing, again, keep in mind that this retails for 59 bucks, so there's not going to be a whole lot of fancy stuff here. For starters, the buttons, you have the typical Android uh, three button layout. These two are capacitive touch, but they aren't the kind that light up at night. They're just uh, labeled with a, with a chrome kind of finish to them, to the icon. But, so they don't light up at night. Now this middle one is a push button. And there's one cool little thing on this. And that's that it's surrounded by an LED light. Which changes colors. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in, in a second. Uh, now the volume is on the left hand side here. There's the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Which is the usual iPod type variety. And then lastly is the... Um, is the lock slash power button on the right hand side and your charge port camera again 
3 megapixels, uh, no LED flash. And despite the fact that this thing is $59, Straight Talk does include a 4 uh, gig SD card already installed, so you don't have to go out and buy one of them. Now back to that center button that I was talking about, uh, because this is one of the cool little features that I like on this phone. And basically what happens with this, uh, with this button is that you can actually use it as a, as a bit of a notification kind of thing. Uh, so it, it lights up with different colors depending on what the phone is doing. It's basically what it boils down to. And I'll go ahead and show you that. This is, it's the home button LED. So here are the different colors that it turns depending on what's going on. So for example, incoming, you get a, a green with a blue kind of thing. Miss call, mi uh, miss messages, the, buttons, the button turns green. On an alarm, it turns different colors. Calendar notification, you get like a nice blue. You get red when a uh, voice recording or when the battery's charging and then you get it white when you're downloading apps so it's something kinda cool now, it's not a huge deal but I'll go ahead and show it to you uh, so you can see how it looks by no means would I go out and buy this phone because of that but it's, it's just a cool little thing to point out okay so here we have the alarm going off and as you can see that button uh, that button's LED light changes diff the different colors there So just one cool little thing that you get on this phone. Uh, now as far as all the Android applications, you get everything here is pretty standard. Uh, you get Google Chrome, which comes in pretty much all phones now, all Androids nowadays. So you don't have to download that. Uh, YouTube, which I showed you earlier. The Play Store, which can download anything you'd like on this phone. Uh, it's not limited by any way, despite the low price. The Apple Store, or the uh, sorry, the Play Store is, is wide open. And of course, uh, Google Maps, which again is fully functional, despite the $59 price. Uh, it's, it does have GPS capabilities, so you can use Google Maps just as you would on any other phone. And uh, the performance on this phone, as you can see on, on the maps, is quite good. It zooms in and out real smoothly. Uh, panning is real smooth. So overall, uh, the experience on this phone is quite good, despite the low price. The design is minimal. is minimalist, I should say. Uh, so there's not a whole lot of extras. It is all plastic. Plastic screen and all. So I think that about wraps it up on this phone. Uh, for it being $59.99, I would highly recommend it. There is no other Android at this price point that does as much as this phone. Uh, it does come with the latest Android version. Um, it's got excellent specs for the price. And it will do just about anything that you ask of it. So all in all, I think this would be an excellent phone to give you know to uh to your kid or 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 if you just want a low cost phone for yourself uh, i like the fact that it's compact so it's not huge and it runs everything you would expect it to you can watch videos download apps etc etc